I think anybody that comes to this locker room is going to understand how hard we play as a team, and that's our calling card. So uh, I think that's always going to be the foundation. That's always going to be the first thing that we're going to preach and that Verbe is going to preach is this team is playing hard, playing super fast and aggressive. Uh, you know, the coaches, they figure out the scheme stuff, but as players, that's one thing that we were always going to uh, hold ourselves to in that standard, just playing super hard and aggressive. So I think that foundation has took us always to the AFC Championship game. So, um, you know, it's, it's a couple of things here and there that we feel like we could have done better to make it to the Super Bowl, but, you know, that's neither here or there. But at the end of the day, the foundation is definitely there. Division title, trying to get a home playoff game maybe on the to-do list? No, most definitely, man. I mean, that's that's always the first goal going to the football season is winning our division. Uh, I haven't been able to do that since I've been here with the Titans. So that has to be the number one goal next year to win a division because we all know, we all understand that hosting these playoff games is, you know, it's kind of ma making it a little bit easier to win the games. Uh, but the things we was able to accomplish to, to go to Houston on the road to get into the playoffs, to go beat the Patriots at their home uh, stadium, and to go beat the Ravens, and you know all those are hostile environments. So um, I'm proud that we was able to do the things we was able to accomplish against, uh, I mean, being underdogs in all those games. So um, I mean, it's just a special year, but most definitely being able to host a playoff game is next on my list for sure. Uh, I think just guys really had to reflect and understand what got us here. You know, uh, we have a talented group of men, very talented group of men. Like we all know, everybody's not going to be here next year. But, uh, you know, we'll lead up to John and we're able to be able to, you know, retool us and, and, and find uh, different guys. And hopefully we can retain a lot of our free agents as well, bring some guys back. But um, I think the main thing is just to understand that, you know, when we do come back here next year in April and we're building again and building up for the next year, building momentum, understand that what got us here, the hard work, the amount of work that we put in, the amount of hours that we put in watching film, that's the foundation. That's how you get yourself a chance. You know, of course, you need a lot of other things to happen in the season. You know, we battle some injuries, we battle different things like that, but the work always comes first. And that's one thing I know for a fact about this team and this group of men that the work was put in and it got us to where we're at. So it's no point of changing. Uh, I was always told by my coach in college that when you have success one year, you know, you have to come back and do the same exact thing the next year, if not better. So I think that has to be blueprint. Whatever guys did in the offseason as far as their own training regimen, do the same thing, but do it a little bit more. Uh, do an extra rep, do an extra sprint and those things. And maybe that'll be the extra push, the extra inch that we can get to make it to the Super Bowl. I still think we have a great uh, nucleus of leadership, uh, even young uh, leadership. A lot of young players that played in this system that are going to be here next year. They had a taste of success. They had a taste of what playoff football is like. So we had to take that into next year, uh, regardless of who's going to be in this locker room. I think guys are going to understand who the Tennessee Titans are and what we're all about and what we stand for. And then, you know, coming in, I think those guys will understand and they'll fall in the line just like everybody else has done, just like the free agents that we had come in this year. So, um, again, just really thankful and blessed to be able to be in this organization and play with this group of men because I'm, I am really built the bond, the brotherhood with a lot of these different guys. So I really want, I really hope and wish that everybody can come back. You know, like in college, like everybody just come back for the next semester and be together. But um, I'm going to try to make sure I'm reaching out to all my guys in the offseason because, uh, like I said, it's just tough the way the season ends. It kind of ends abruptly. You don't really get to say your goodbyes and, really, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So, no, it's just tough.